Fairy Tale is one of my top favorite anime, and I'm excited to dedicate this video to Urza Scarlet, aka Titania, the Queen of Fairies. I was really inspired by some of her hairstyles, so I'm gonna show you how to do them. I cosplayed as Urza for Fenime, and I'll share that at the end of the video. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy these cute and easy hairstyles so you can sport to your next anime convention. The first hairstyle was inspired by Urza's Morning Star Armor. It's an adorable and youthful look. To start, you grab a section of hair from the top of your ears to the back and tie it with a thin elastic. Twist this section around itself a few times to form a little bun and secure it, leaving some hair at the bottom. If your hair is thin, you can loosen the bun to make it bigger and pin it down. Now tease the remaining hair and pull it back to form a droopy bun. If your hair is long, you can wrap the rest of your ends around the first bun and pin it down. Repeat these steps to the other side and the look is complete. This may not be a usual everyday hairstyle, but it's definitely unique. The next hairstyle is from Urza's Lightning Empress Armor. This is one of my favorite looks because it features a cute bow headband. Before we begin, I'm going to show you how to make her headband accessory. You're going to need a headband and three ribbon strips. Start by wrapping one strip around the headband to cover it up. Tie the remaining ribbons into bowls and attach bobby pins in the back. When you have this ready, we can move on to the hairstyle. You're going to first separate some hair in the front to frame your face. Put your headband on and pull your hair back into a three-strand braid. After you tie it off, you can pull on the braid for more volume. At this point, pin the bowls to the side of your headband and you're done! There are a lot of other characters that wear ribbon headbands, so feel free to use this tutorial for other anime hairstyles. The third look is from Urza's Flame Empress Armor. This is a simple hairstyle that will only take a minute or two. You're going to split your hair in half from the back and tie it into two high pigtails. Give your pigtails a light tease at the top to make them perkier. This will also help your layers thin out. To mimic the dragon horns that Urza has, you can wear these hair ties with ears at the top. These pigtails remind me of Wendy's hairstyle and a certainly more playful look. The last hairstyle is the ponytail that Urza wears in her Japanese samurai clothes. It's an etchy look that will instantly make you feel fierce. Start by tying your hair into a high ponytail with a strong hair tie. Grab the sides and pull it forward so it fans out and sits on top of your head. Wrap a green or white ribbon around the base of your ponytail a few times and tie it in the back. Your ponytail should do a pretty good job covering the ends. That's really all it takes to have this cool samurai hairstyle. So this is the particular cocote armor of Urza that I wore to the anime convention. The flaming pants and swords were from lightinthebox.com. The costume was nice and sturdy and the swords were beautifully made as well. It has a sleek design and the fairy tale symbol on it. I'll list the links to everything in the info box so you can check them out. Now the costume did come with a white bandeau and some athletic tape, but I ended up bandaging my top with self-adhering tape because that was more comfortable. I had a blast being Urza Scarlet for Fanime. I met a ton of cool new friends and was pleasantly surprised to meet some of you there as well. Thank you for coming out to take pictures and give me hugs. It was super fun and definitely my favorite year at the con. I really enjoyed putting this video together for all of you. I hope you liked it and please suggest other anime hairstyles that I should try next. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and have a wonderful week. I'll see you all very soon. Toodles!